We're here, but you really think the weapon's in a dusty old place like this? It must be. Let's just go look inside the cave. Jeez, can't anyone hide stuff in places a little easier to spot? Who has come to defile Kutarogi's cave? Me, me, me! But not the defiling part. We're helping you by defeating monsters. Wait, you said Kutarogi's cave? Does that mean the gun barrels are here too? I knew it. More thieves seeking the gun. Be gone, you greedy harlots. Otherwise, you shall regret coming here. Hold up, listen to us first. We're not gonna auction it off or make money from it. Not a single credit. You sound more suspicious when you say it like that. But she's telling the truth. We just want to go to Celestia and stop R4. R4? Who's that? She's a former goddess who's making these monsters. We gotta get to Celestia to stop her. The former goddess in Celestia is burning illegal copies of discs and distributing them around the world. Well, we don't know if she burns them to create them. Huh, sounds kind of like a metaphor for something. I see. Celestia is facing another world-ending crisis. Yes! We must go there and stop R4! We're not gonna put it to bad use. We'll bring it back when we're done, too. So please, let me borrow it. In that case, today ends my watch over this gun. I leave it in your care. I never thought I'd be the one to hand it over to the new heroes. Try opening the chest in front of you. This box? Okay, I've had lots of practice. <clears throat> Whoa! This is it? It's huge! So she says. Kutarogi's attendant inherited it. That attendant is my ancestor. A key to open the forbidden path to Celestia. We've guarded this barrel for so many generations. And you're giving it up just like that? I can't believe these two convinced you. Sir Kutarogi already predicted there would be another goddess plotting misdeeds someday. His command was to give up the gun once the time came. Oh, yay! I'm counting on you two to put the gun together, Kampa and Iffy. Bye-bye. Kampa, you've got my permission to roundhouse kick her in the face later. I'm not really into violence, but I think she'd do well to suffer a firm flick on the back of her ear. <laughs> <laughs>